must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. I'm just chilling here at Goron City. We have Daruk's protection with us now. And uh, ooh, let's talk to her again. Sabak. She's still buying Topaz. I don't think I have... I don't think I have enough. So... What shall we do now? Um, I actually want to explore around Death Mountain a little bit. I remember there was something over here that I wanted to check out, so let's start heading that way. I think it was the Gut Rock Challenge, but I don't remember. I never did that, sh that place, so... I have a feeling there's also a bunch of ore that we could get as well. Even though I have a lot of money now, you can always have more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, see there's a bombable thing over there. That might be an Igneo Talus. Ooh. Let me look at the map again. Actually, let's let's fly up to the Divine Beast or warp up there. We might be able to we might be able to fly down like wherever we want from up on the Divine Beast. Varudanya, I should say. Also, guys, Today we are going to do something very special. We're going to use an amiibo that I have never used before. The Champion Daruk amiibo. Wait, am I, am I burning or something? Oh, I'm on fire, okay. Um, let's, let's put on the, uh, the armor, there we go. Okay. 100 Famous Mountains of Hyrule, number one, Death Mountain Summit. This must be the highest place in Hyrule, I don't, I'm assuming. Oh, hi! Oh. Do it, Frodo! Throw in the ring! So anyways, this looks like a good place to, uh... Jump. Ooh, I need to go that way. Let's, uh, let's try to go around the summit. I want to summon the champion's amiibo, but not right here because not a flat surface. But yeah, the champion Daruk amiibo has, I don't know if it's a guaranteed chance or just a chance, but we have a chance to get the helmet of the Divine Beast. Varudanya, which I've never had before in this game because I never had the amiibo before but now I have the amiibo so we have a chance at least dang the divine beast tail is just hanging into the lava this is such an epic fall if you were to jump down Come on, Link, we're almost there. All right, I think we can jump down to the pink. Ah, uh, yes, there it is, I see it. Let's go.
Gut check, rock. Uh, so let's summon the the champion Naruka Amiibo at the top of Gut Check Rock after we complete the mission. That will kind of like prove ourselves worthy. You know what I mean? Here it is. And then we'll also be able to get the shrine afterwards. So. All right, for this one, I think we're gonna want our climber gear on if I can. Okay. Strength is king. Feel the burn, brother. This hotness here is a training ground for manly Goron men. We climb this cliff like it's nothing to prove our grit. If you got some guts in that tiny belly of yours, then talk to my big bro up top and prove it. Because I do have to go up top. And he's going to send me right back down, huh? Pump it up, brother! By the gods, I love me some muscle. This right here is our hardcore training ground, String Bean. This is where we come to get ripped and shredded. It's where Goron boys become Goron men, brother. <gasps> I ain't moving a muscle, brother, not a single well-defined muscle. This is a special platform, sacred even. Only real Goron men, as decided by us, three Goron blood brothers, are allowed. Besides, my littlest bro's in the middle of training right now. A brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. Mm. But, I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action. Almost like you have a Goron air about you. I like it. Mm. So what do you wait for, brother? Get training! Yeah, that's it. If you can clear a hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Count me in, brother. <laughs> ha, good answer, brother. We're gonna shred you to pieces, little man. Prepare your tiny self. Okay, let me explain how this hardcore training works. The rules are dead simple. Simple as a deadlift, brother. Starting from the bottom, you gotta climb back up here within the time limit. But, don't fool yourself into thinking it's only a climbing challenge, little man. You gotta pick up rupees as you go. Get up the cliff within the time limit and grab a passable number of rupees. Do that and you pass the test. If you run out of time or decide to give up halfway through the climb, you'll have to return to the rupee all the rupees you picked up. That's life, brother. <clears throat> We're gonna help you push past the limits, brother. Your physical, mental, and emotional limits. Okay, enough messing around. It's time for the hardest of hardcore feats. <clears throat> Gut check challenge! Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. A tiny detail, tiny man. No train, no gain, and no pay, no stay. So yeah, it's uh, 20 rupees per attempt. <laughs> Let's do it. I gotta collect 100 rupees? A hardcore go-on man should be able to climb that, no problem. Even if you reach the goal before time runs out, if you don't grab enough rupees, you fail. Don't fail, brother. Got it? Good. Then it's timely time for Gut Check Challenge! Go! Am I gonna teleport to the bottom, or...? that about to happen? Okay, here we go. Let's do it! Oh my gosh, I need a hundred rupees. We're skipping that one. Oh. There's more than one pathway, guys. I'm not sure which one to take. But we're taking this one. Good thing I got that extra stamina wheel, man. Oh, we're at 39. 40. Let's go! Don't fall off, Link. Don't fall off. Man, imagine doing this without that much stamina. 96! 
Oh, there's a red one right over there. I'm easily going to do it. We're going to get more rupees and we're going to easily beat the time. Because I'm already at the top almost. Just don't fall off. That was glorious! Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many rupees he scored. Looks like you got 126 rupees! Unbelievable! You passed our trading with the grit of a true Goron, my brother. In fact, you've earned the right to call yourself the fourth Goron Blood Brother. As promised, you are now allowed to stand on the sacred platform of Goron Manliness. A real honor, I know. You're officially one of us now. Our true Goron Brother, brother. Welcome to the family. And good news, fourth brother. That means you can do the gut check challenge all you want. As a Goron blood brother, you're ready for the hard stuff. Just let me know when you're pumped up enough to try it. All right. I feel like we have earned our keep. Ooh, look at all these stones. One of these is a fake stone I can pick up, I know it. Which one of you is a Korok seed? None of them. Interesting. Wait, did I check this one? Aha! Wait, there's not a Korok? Oh, okay. Alright guys, before we grab our treasure there, let's summon Champion Daruk Amiibo. Ooh, I got ore? Dang. Come on, give me the headpiece. Oh, Stone Smasher 59? No, that's pretty good though. Not not what I wanted, but all right. That just means that we're gonna keep uh, trying until we get it. Um, it's a nice Dragon Bone uh, weapon, but this thing does like 60 damage. All right, we'll try tomorrow. I can only do that amiibo once per day, so we'll try again tomorrow. I'm not going to use the other champion amiibos, even though I have them, until after we complete the Divine Beast for each champion. You got to earn the right, I feel like. You know what I mean? I shouldn't be wearing the Divine Beast armor if I don't even have, have beaten the Divine Beast. Ugh, took a drink of my tea. Lovely. Earl Grey. Ooh, this one's got water in it. Oh, it's just a blessing. All right. What I get? Kind of don't want another weapon. I'm already kind of packed on weapons. Okay. Well, a great frost blade. You know, that's that's hard to turn down. You know, you make you drive a hard bargain there, buddy. Cool spear and all, but frost blades are amazing. Thank you. And a spirit orb. Yes. Give me the spirit orb. Thank you. Whew, that was a fun, uh, fun trying to do. Oh, look at that. I got the lizard boy on the loading screen. I didn't notice before. Oh, man. That is so awesome. Ah, Master Mode, guys. We will actually be able to beat Master Mode. And I think the Divine Beasts actually appear in the order that you beat them. Like, I've always done Varuta first. The the Zora one. And then, uh, Vomid, uh... I forget what this one's called. But that one. And then Vomido. Yeah, I've always done them in that order. Alright, now I want to go to the Ancient Tech Lab. I want to uh, buy some ancient armor now that we have a lot of money and uh, ancient items. We should be able to buy the whole set and whatever else we want, to be honest. I have so many good weapons, it's just ridiculous. I think there was a skull nearby, so maybe we'll go fight the Lionel, I don't know. Might as well. Alright, let's see. Systems green. Hey, familiar name missing. 
Alright, first things first, guys. I have the Ancient Greaves. I need the Curious, Curious and Helm. That's 4,000 rupees. That's half my money, but... And it's also almost all of my Ancient Gears. But we're about to get the full Ancient set. We did it. Oh man, I don't have enough ancient gears now. Ooh, I could get the ancient blade saw, guys. The ancient shield's really cool too. Ancient sword. I think I'm just gonna get some more uh, arrows, ancient arrows. Now I got 10 of those, that should help a lot. All right, that's all I need right now. We're gonna save up a little bit more to get the, the other ancient stuff later. All right, let's shall we take shall we take a look, guys? Let's wait until morning so we get the full light and glory of what this looks like. Actually, noon. Please don't be raining. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's summon Wolf Link while we're while we're chilling here, and I think we're gonna go fight a Lionel. But first, here's what the full ancient set looks like. <laughs> oh, oh man, pretty crazy. This is like probably the best armor in the game as far as like defense. If once you level it up, and the uh, set bonus. I forget what it does, but I think it gives you even more guardian resistance or something. You could also do the the circlet, which does guardian resist up as well, but it doesn't count as a set. Here, we'll, we'll put on ancient. Oh, do I have a... Oh, yeah, here we go. Full ancient. Oh, no, the, the set bonus does ancient weapon attack up or something, so you're actually stronger with ancient weapons. That's what the full set does. Um... Yeah, I think we're we're good to go. Let's go fight the Lionels. Man, I, I love the Radiant Shield so much, I don't really want it to break. Let's, I love the Forest Dweller Shield. Let's use uh, one of these Night Shields. We got a lot of these. Alright, cool. Any loot? Any loot? Nope. Alright, so it appears that there is a Lionel uh, to the west. I think we should go kick his butt. What do you guys think? We've never fought a Lionel yet. And uh, I, feel like, I feel like we can do it. Probably going to have to switch to my plate armor because he might be able to one-shot me. You know how that goes, but we're, we're going to fight the Lionel. Probably a silver Lionel because you know it's master mode and L. Alright, just check and see if there's any loot in there. It might take us a minute just to get to the Lionel. Let's see. Uh, I should be able to fly down there, no problem actually. Whoa, I d oh, that's just how you get up here, okay. I see that monster cave over there, I wonder... Oh, that, that torch is not lit, blue? Oh, man. Neither is that one? Alright, we have a little bit of work to do here, too. I killed him so fast. Um, yeah, I didn't light a lot of these torches apparently, but whatever. We'll come back and do that. After we kill the Lino. Come on, Cookie. I'm gonna ride you into battle. Alright, it should be right down here somewhere. Wolf Link, stay close. Alright, he should be around here. I put a skull over here, so... 
Okay, here he is. What's up? Don't die. Come on, big boy. <laughs> Maximum damage. I switched to the one-handed in case I need to parry him or something. Okay, run away, run away. I mean, I guess we could use the Master Sword. Oh, get wrecked. Okay, Master Sword's out of energy. Stone Smasher! Oh man, it's it's that that just complicated things. Now it's a lightning storm, guys. That really complicated things. Now we can't use like half of our stuff. Though it does make the fight even more epic. even really touched me. Oh, thank you, Daru. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that big explosion. It does a lot of damage. Try, big boy. Oh boy. Don't get so angry. Falcon bow broke, and I don't have another bow. I'm just gonna have to risk the... Oh! Oh! First line no kill. No, no, pick up the weapon. Pick up, pick up the weapon! The weapon! The weapon! Ah! Mighty Lionel Spear. And I didn't even break a weapon, so... Alright. No, no, no. Come back. 
come back, come back, come back. Lionel guts are hard to come by, you know? I didn't even get hit once by the Lionel. Savage Lionel Bow, 41 times three. The Lionel Bow is made from a special steel found at the peak of Death Mountain. I was actually just at the peak of Death Mountain. I didn't see any steel. It has tremendous stopping power and can pierce thick armor as easily as thin paper. 10 shock arrows. Oh, that was pretty hype. Well, I guess, I guess uh, I didn't even really need this armor because <laughs> it, I kicked his butt if I say so myself. I, I, I don't know why, but I like this armor right now. All right, Cookie, let's get out of here. I don't, I don't really care for the thunderstorm that much. I don't know what happened to... Uh, oh, actually, I did get hit one time. Uh, Daruk helped me one time. I remember that. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. I don't really want to hang out here anymore. Let's see. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is I want to explore the eastern side of Mount Lanayru. Let's warp to Hateno Village. I'll also be able to uh, dye some armor. And I wouldn't mind upgrading some armor either. Now that we have the ancient armor and the uh, desert Vo armor, I want to upgrade these. So... If, I, uh, if I'm already at 30 minutes, which it's uh, pretty close to that, we might have some bonus footage of uh, me just upgrading armor. If you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, I feel bad. Wolf Link probably got uh, pwned by the, uh, the Lionel there, but... We did it, guys. We got our first Lionel dead. Let's, let's show our trophy off. Equip these amazing items. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Just strolling into town with my savage Lionel weapons. Um, general store? Yeah, let's see what they got. I want to buy some arrows if I can. You're still sold out of arrows? What the heck kind of establishment do you run here, sir? Never coming back here again. <laughs> Is this it? Alright, let's see what we can dye our desert bow armor. I mean, to be honest, it already looks really good, but I just want to see what we can do. I've never dyed this armor before. Uh, let's choose color. Ooh. Blue, red, yellow or sage, white, black. Black looks pretty good. Navy. Wait, no, it really was yellow. Uh, light blue, green, purple. Purple's not purple enough, you know? P peach? That's not peach. That's like a pink. Or coral. Crimson. Not gonna lie, guys. None of these are really looking that cool, except for the black, maybe. I, am, I, I honestly almost like it better without the dye, but we'll go black for now. I can always change it back. Uh, nah, I'm gonna use some of these flint. I'm gonna do black just to look a little bit different, like, cause this this armor is really cool by itself without coloring it. But I've never seen anybody color it before, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that to do it. Oh, that looks that looks pretty good actually. Black and gold looks really good. That's that's, that's a classic color. Uh, that looks good. Let's see if I can color the ancient armor. I I doubt you can, but what if you can? If I can dye this armor, that would be amazing. <laughs> we can! Oh! I've never seen... That looks so good, actually! The yellow, oh my gosh, it stands out. I've never seen the ancient armor dyed. Oh, all black. It almost looks the same, though. That's not terrible. 
Man, again, I think the black is probably the best. Gray's not not bad either, but orange looks good and yellow looks good. Wow, the yellow is really br noticeable. Orange isn't that bad either. I wish the the crimson was a little more red. Dang, I th I feel like I'm gonna go with yellow. Yeah, sure, bananas. Let's throw the ancient armor in with some bananas. Alright, I skipped the first one. I'm not skipping this one. I actually skipped it on accident the first time. <laughs> oh, wow. Which color did you guys think looked the best? Do you like the yellow? I think it looks very palatable. Alright, now I'm like super standout. Oh my goodness, guys. Woo! Alright, isn't there a house I can buy here somewhere? Or is that in Kakariko? I thought there was a house somewhere in Hateno you can buy. I don't know where it is though. Maybe it, maybe it was Kakariko Village. Well, speaking of Kakariko Village guys, I think we're gonna warp there and see if we can upgrade some armor, so... Actually, these houses look kind of empty. I'm just seeing. Yeah, it must have been. Alright, let's warp back here. I'm gonna also go to the Great Fairy Fountain. But first, we're gonna see if we can buy some arrows or whatnot. So, thank you guys for watching. If, if you, if you want to leave, that's fine. This is just bonus footage at this point. We're just gonna do some, uh, run some errands, basically. And uh, instead of doing them off camera, I'll just keep recording and you guys can uh, keep hanging out if you want. Man, this ancient armor yellow is... Whew. With the Lionel uh, weapons. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Like, I did pretty dang good on that Lionel. The key is just going for headshots, but I'm not gonna lie. Once it started uh, thunderstorming, that actually made it even harder on me. But thankfully, I had... <laughs> Uh, oh no, 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 please don't, please don't attack. New clothes, new outfits, I highly doubt that. Yeah, I already have all of these. Liars. You know what else I have not even equipped once? I feel bad that I haven't even equipped this one time. The champion's tunic. I never wear it. That's basically what it looks like. The cool thing about the champion's tunic is it allows me to uh, see the enemy health. Hey, it's Paya. Oh, it's you, Master Link. Please don't sneak up on me like that. Is something the matter? Do you need something? What you doing? Just par polishing the gu guardian deities. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, there's the inn. There's the shop. Okay, here we go. I want to buy some arrows if I can. Hopefully these guys actually stock arrows. Okay, they have some. Hey. Oh. Yep. And uh, now I actually want to go back up to the shrine. Yeah, I'm lazy, but it's just a shortcut. And we're going to go to the Great Fairy Shrine. Actually, this great fairy, I think, can only upgrade our armor once or twice. We might have to go to a different one. There is another great fairy fountain in the desert. I forget how much rupees we're going to need. It's a lot, I'm sure. The final upgrade place. All right, yeah, let's go back up here. Wait, don't I need to take a picture of that? <laughs> Got it. Oh man. Oh well. Also guys, that made me uh, realize, I think that quest was... 
Oh, another one right there. I didn't even see him. I was looking at my iPad for a second. Uh, there was a quest in the... Ooh, those are actual fairies. In the Korok forest area, like, I had to turn in the quest and I forgot to. Oh, let's stock up on fairies, baby. Even if the Lionel killed me, I had berries anyways. Endura carrots, those are also amazing. Silent princesses. Yeah, it's good to come by here every now and then, you know what I mean? I have so many fairies now. Look at that, six fairies. Mm. Welcome back, boy. Ah. Let's enhance. Ooh, the snow quill. Oh, yeah, I can do this one. Mm. Now I'm going to have the set bonus, the set bonus. Ah. Mm. <sighs> okay. Um, the ancient armor. I already have that level one. Let's do the 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 curious. Mm. Ah. And let's do the helmet as well. I think I need more ancient ah. gears, but we'll get them. Anytime I see a guardian, I'm just gonna have to kill it. Let's do the ancient helm. Mm. Almost double the defense, so, you know, it's worth. I could upgrade the soldier's gear even higher. Uh, the flame breaker set would be, would be nice. You need the fireproof lizards, of course. I don't know what the set bonus is for the flame breaker set, so kind of want to upgrade that. Although, I'm going to be honest, I'll probably never wear it unless I'm, like, mm. actually in the Goron place, but, you know. Ah. Oh, well. Now that I'm done with the Goron place, I don't have that much reason to to wear it. But mm. it has such little defense, you know. We might as well ah. upgrade it. Not really going to do anything with the fireproof lizards and stuff anyway. Could upgrade the Hylian set even more. The Sapphire Circlet. Oh, the climbing gear. Yeah, for sure. This one's only a one star. Mm. Yep. Ah. Definitely upgrade the climber gear. I use that a lot. Anything else I want to do right now? The snow quill, I wouldn't mind. Ooh, the climbing gear level three. The barbarian helmet, I wouldn't mind upgrading. Oh, wow. Uh... I probably use the climbing stuff the most often. But once it's already level two, I don't really need to level it higher. The, the, this armor set, the Barbarian set, is really, really good. I think I'm going to level that one up. We need Lino Horns to level it up. Dang. I need to get the rest of the set. We got to do the other uh, Labyrinths. Uh, I think I'm good on that now. Now, let's see what the set bonus is for. Set bonus. I don't have the set bonus on this yet, but the the snow quill. Unfreezable. All right. See what I mean? Not bad, right? Not bad. The desert vo I couldn't upgrade at all. Anything else that we upgraded to level two? Oh, I need the flame breaker helm to level two. Hey, fairy. Let me let me upgrade the the helmet really quick. Probably uh, uh, unable to catch mm. on fire or something. 
Let's do this one level two since I can. Mm. Alright, let's see what the set bonus is on the flame breaker. Fireproof. I mean, wasn't I already? I guess not. It just was fire resistance. Now I can literally walk through fire. That's actually, that's actually useful. Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Please drop a like if you did, enjoy, and be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild content. Hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Take it easy.